You know it's gonna be a good video if I got the tripod out. <laughs> so. Today, Jolene is going to be getting new shoes. The rat rod way of doing this is to take a 36 to 40 grit sanding flapper disc, grind all of the stuff relatively smooth. You don't want to actually get into the, the smooth tire area. You just want to take off all this stupid stuff. I usually just paint right over it, but it looks kind of obvious. So we're going to jack this thing up. We're going to make it so we can spin this wheel freely. And then I can sand this down to relatively smooth. We're going to mask it off. We're going to make a tape line with electrical tape. So it'll be nice and perfectly round. Damn, that is a sweet earth, you might say. Round. All right. We can paint this strip white with some Flex Seal, Plasti Dip, any of those elastomeric polymer. It, it's rubber. It's, you're spraying rubber on rubber. If you spray paint on here, I'd say maybe the next day, two days later, it's all going to be cracked everywhere. And then that's going to allow the rubber to breathe into the paint itself, changing its molecular. I don't fucking know. It makes it brown. It'll turn like a dirty tan maybe i can find a picture online somewhere i'll put it up here it turns it like a dirty white tannish it's off white it, it's not nice it's not even this white it's darker than that tan brown so the plan is like i said i'm going to take this paint which i mean you're not going to notice i don't know I, I think with the uh with the primer and then if i lightly dust them with this they'll look the same so that's for the wheels and then I got this stuff for that. Anyway, you want it to be flat white. You don't want it to be glossy. I mean, you might, I don't know, but for it to look old, flat white. And that's what we're gonna do. So I got four to do. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna be messy, but let's knock this out. All right, as you can see with the car in the air, you break off in neutral. You can spin the wheel and we can easily access all of the tire we're gonna need to get to to paint it. We got this nice thick line here to tell us where to stop grinding and where we'll be painting to. So I'll make that easy. I'm gonna clean these wheels up so the paint will stick. So I got my flapper wheel. I got some protection because you don't want to get flying rubber in your eyeballs or in your lungs. We're going to grind a little, make this nice and smooth as we spin it. So we get evenly all the way around and then we'll clean these wheels, tape this off, paint. So as you can see, that's very messy. Don't wanna breathe that in. Definitely, but you get this smooth enough and not only is it going to take away any of the, the lines that's going to mess up the look of the white wall. Oh, I got this stuff everywhere. It's not only going to make it nice and smooth for the white wall to attach, but it's literally making the rubber tacky. So the elastomer spray is actually going to bond and vulcanize into the tire. So just don't overheat it in one area. Obviously keep it moving. You, you, uh, if you're afraid that you might have a blowout or overheat it in one area too much, which I mean, that's not even hot to the touch, but you can take the valve core out and let all the air out. And then you obviously won't have a blowout. Another option is take it off the car and just do it on the ground. But I like doing it this way because you have a lot more access to everything and you can just spin it. So back to work. So now we've got it pretty smooth. I'll leave the, uh, the size and the other stuff on the inside, but let's see if I can uh, get this mask off. Get you a little closer so you can see what I'm saying. But like before there was words and all that other stuff. I mean, it's pretty smooth now. So the white will stick to that really well. We just gotta tape off this line so we don't get white on the tread. We're good to go.
So I've acetone wiped the wheel. The tire is still fairly smooth. Some of the stuff I cleaned off of it stuck to the sticky tire, so I might have to hit that again just to make it nice and smooth. But I have some self-etching primer. I'm gonna blast the wheel, then I'm gonna paint the wheel, and then that way the white will cover any of the overspray so I don't have to tape off the wheel on the tire. But then I'm just going to run a piece of tape up around the edge here to keep the white off the tread. And it'll make a nice crisp line. it will pull the paint off if you tape it. But what we know is the diameter of the wheel is 15 inches. It's actually 16 and a half across the lip. So you got two options here. I've done it both ways and they're both just as easy. You need a piece of cardboard that's at least 16 and a half across. We have 18 and a half here and 18 and a half here, 19, so that's perfect. So you can take this piece of cardboard, you can cut it out into a square and take it to one of the wheels you haven't painted yet and press it with dirty ass fingers and trace around the edge of the wheel onto the cardboard, really pressing it into the edge of the rim itself. So it not only cuts into the cardboard a circle, but it, it leaves a dirty line. And then you go back and you cut it on that dirty line. And then you make yourself like a handle out of some tape, like, like a shield. Yeah. And then you got a round shield with a handle and you can literally just stick it up there and blast around that and the white paint will get on the cardboard not on your painted wheel the other option is if you have a compass a compass is going to be dividing that 16 and a half in half so that's eight and a quarter so we're going to expand this guy out to eight and a quarter this takes a little while eight and a quarter so what we have now is the radius of our circle and we can find center by making sure we're not going over the edge here and we're not going over the edge there and we're not going over the edge there or there and then we just literally so something like that now we'll take this razor knife and we'll carefully follow the dotted line and now we have our shield <clears throat> We can use some tape, tape up all these holes. We're gonna verify that it'll fit without touching the wheel. It's a little short. So I'm gonna make the edges a little bigger with some tape. All right, I made a little handle and I extended the edges out so I can just kind of stick it right over the wheel. Nice and flat. Just about ready to paint. Perfect. Now we gotta tape off the edge so we don't get it all over the tire tread itself. So I got a brand new roll of electrical tape and I'm gonna put it just on the outside, or I should say inside of this line. And I can put it around where I can see what I'm doing. Let me get you to pull you around here as well. Let's see, what are you seeing? All right, there we go. So I'm gonna take this electrical tape and because it's rubber, it sticks really well to rubber, unlike painter's tape. And I'm just gonna follow that line as tight as I can. All right, and it's already peeling off. So you don't wanna stretch it, that's the other thing. It'll kind of lift up if you stretch it too much. You just literally want to stick it right down. Without too much stretching. It's going to be a little bit of stretch because you're making a circular 
You know what I mean? But just as best you can get that to stick. so that we don't have to worry about it continuing not to stick. And we're gonna keep pressing. And then as we cross over this line here, we're just gonna go on to the outside and keep going. And now it's sticking to itself, so it's a lot better. We don't really care if we get paint on the tread itself because obviously that'll just rub off as soon as we go for a drive, but we don't want it on the side of the tread because then it's gonna look like shit. And if you've ever seen white walls, they have a pretty solid line separating them from everything else. back at the beginning again. So now, just rip that. Okay, some people go back and put a piece of tape here to make that black separation, but I want the old school white walls where they were just white from the edge right to the wheel. So I'm not gonna do that. And we have overspray here now, so I kind of have to, if I would have taped that beforehand, it wouldn't have been such a big deal. However, we are ready to paint the tires now. Now the key to this stuff and any other stuff over rubber like this is multiple white coats in the beginning. You want to barely just mist it on there, let it dry. That's going to help the next coat adhere to that coat and so on and so forth. If you blast a thick coat on it first, the chemicals in this that help it dry off are going to react with the rubber. It's going to put pigment from the black rubber into the paint itself and it's going to ruin the appearance. Hopefully you do not get an example of that today. First coat, I'm going to make sure our cover is nice and clean. I'm going to stick it up there where we're working. We're just going to... Just like that. Very light coat. And we're literally just gonna spin her around. Oops, shit. Fucked up my paint, but I didn't. Alright. And then same thing. It's not good. Hopefully you can see what I'm saying about the, the light and how it covers it eventually. You just gotta be patient, unlike me. Keep rotating it. I 
and on old hot rods like this i'm a huge fan of good enough i don't like when they're too pretty um it looks deceptive to me especially rattle can stuff if you try too hard with rattle can anything it's going to start to look a little ghetto so i try not to expect a whole lot and then when you're all done and it looks halfway decent and everybody's complimenting you because from 20 feet away they look amazing you won't feel so bad so now we unwrap it fucking amateur hour over here all right here we go we do not want that to touch so we're gonna make sure it doesn't And there we go. We got a couple little spots here. I can hit that with a Sharpie. You'll never see it. But I mean, once those wheels get dirty, no one will know. No one will know. Before. After. And now I just got to do it three more times. Thanks for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on.